Here's what I got going on. I'm going to do a test of briquettes. I got Kingsford, Royal Oak, and Good Charcoal. I'm going to use 12 brick, 12 brick, 12 briquettes of each. And I'm also going to use lighter fluid to start them. So they're, it's going to have an accelerant. I want to see how long each of them burn with the accelerant. I'm doing them uh, <laughs> flux capacitor style in a triangle so we can identify which one's which. You obviously can tell the good charcoal briquettes <laughs> are definitely bigger than Royal Oak and Kingsford. I'm going to get these lit real quick. All right. We've got Kingsford, Royal Oak, good charcoal. 12 briquettes each. Like I said, I'm using, uh, I have lighter fluid on the bottom ones just to get them started. Uh, to do an accelerant, because I, you know, don't want to utilize any of my tumbleweeds, but this is just a test anyways. Why spend competition style stuff? Okay. They're all going. We'll see how it goes. You see that? 428.59. Just to let you all know when I started it, it's probably about 429 or 428 with 30 seconds. So, yay, watching fire. I'm not sure if any of you viewers like roasted marshmallows, but I do. So I grabbed some marshmallows for this charcoal test. And I'm going to put my marshmallows and skewer on a fire and roast me <laughs> some marshmallows. It's been, what, almost three minutes. Four, three, yeah, almost three minutes. But, well. Yeah three minutes so Kingsford Royal Oak good charcoal let me roast my marshmallows oh they're roasting it's getting warm oh ow ooh, hot there you go check that out yep they're still going oh hot burnt the way I like alright 10 minute check in just over 10 minutes 11 minutes Kingsford Royal Oak good charcoal Ooh, smoky smoky good charcoal Kingsford Royal Oak <laughs> they're all burning nice and hot looks like Good charcoal's winning though on longevity. Kingford's <laughs> losing. Royal Oaks in second. Okay, we're coming out to check on the coals. It's uh, 4.53, we start at 4.28. Kingsford, Royal Oak, good charcoal. Good charcoal's burning. But I got you guys a gift. Oh, this is a dirty grate, and I don't care. We're gonna put some hot dogs on. They're for my kids, so I don't care. But I'm just gonna throw them right over the coals, call it good. There we go. They just want something to eat real fast, and I didn't want to clean it. <laughs> so what? I'll clean it later. All right, I'll be back. Hey, guys, just a reminder. Subscribe, ding the bell, get notifications. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And dinner for the kids. <laughs> okay. 501. Seven, eight minutes later. Good charcoal. Royal Oak, Kingsford. Kingsford looks like it's 
like going to ash. Whoops. Royal Oak still has some good coals with it. Not many. Good charcoal. Good charcoal. That's burning hot. Yep. We are 521, just over 50 minutes. We got Kingsford, Royal Oak, good charcoal. Good charcoal is still going strong. Kingsford, not so much. Royal Oak, I mean, Royal Oak's hot, but it's burnt down. Good charcoal is hot and still going. That's 50 minutes. Good charcoal is definitely... Well, good charcoal is not good. It is great. So my conclusion. Kingsford, definitely. It, it, it's a name brand charcoal. I'm not going to say don't use it. It's a name brand charcoal. It's good for what you might want to use it for. Backyard people at home. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I use it too. Uh... Well, not anymore. <laughs> um, Royal Oak. I've used that, obviously, because I have some, too. Uh, but, man, I am so happy and honored to say thank you to Good Charcoal Company for sponsoring us. That charcoal is not good. That charcoal is great. It is amazing. 50 minutes in, and... Those coals were burning hot and and didn't even look like they were really getting touched and ashing up like the Royal Oak and the well Kingsford Kingsford was freaking done. My review is get yourself a bag of good charcoal. Even you people at home, you don't need to use as much. That stuff goes a lot farther. You need to start buying that. On to the next review. Thanks for watching.